Hi, I'm Jessica from UPDF and today I'm going to show you the PDF Converter tool where you can convert your PDF into multiple different formats. But before we begin today's tutorial, please click on the link in the description below so you can download UPDF and you can try it out for yourself. Let's get into the main part of the video where we're going to discuss the different formats that you can convert your PDF into using UPDF. Users have the chance to convert their PDFs into more than 14 different formats and these include Word, PowerPoint, point, HTML and even images. When talking about the PDF to image tool, this tool allows you to convert your file into different file formats such as JPG, GIF and BMP and more. While carrying out all of these conversions, you can retain the format of your file. This allows you to get the perfect output and if you compare UPDF to other file converting tools, you will find that UPDF is very fast, it is lag free and it's very very easy to use. Another great feature is that users of UPDF can select the page that you actually want to convert before you decide to convert your PDF into a different file format. To get a better idea of this functionality, please keep watching so you can get a step-by-step -step guide on how to convert your PDF to different file types. Now let's start off with converting your file to a Word document. To start converting, open your file and click the export PDF button on the right hand panel where you will see all the different file formats you can convert to. If you click on Word, you can convert your file to a Word document. You can change the layout settings. You can also change the page range of what you want to convert to a Word document. When you're ready, just press export and you can save your PDF as a Word doc. Now in the steps coming up, I'm going to explain how to convert your PDF into an image. If you want to convert your PDF to an image, follow the steps mentioned before to add your PDF document to the conversion tool. Next, click on the export PDF button and choose the image option to move ahead. You can change the export settings such as the output format. Again, you can change the page range of what page you would like to export as an image. And you can even select order even pages for exporting. Other than these basic conversions, UPDF also allows users to convert your file into a PDF A file. Doing so allows users to comply with standards to help preserve their documents for legal usage. Anyone can simply carry out this conversion following the steps that we're going to mention now. Upload your file to UPDF as normal and click on save as other and then save as PDF A to save your file as a PDF A file. After understanding the simple PDF conversions, let's jump on to batch converting. With this feature, UPDF allows you to convert multiple files at one time into formats such as Word, PowerPoint and Image. You can also enable the text recognition setting, which will allow you to convert any scannable files into editable ones. When talking about the layout settings, UPDF gives you multiple options. UPDF gives you various options such as retain page layout, retain flowing text and exact reconstruction so you can choose your desired output. For this conversion you can also select files such as JPG and PNG which you can add in along with other files. Now let's get into the details of how to do this process in thoroughly explained steps. Upon launching UPDF on your device click on the batch icon and then click on convert. When you click on the add files icon, you can add as many files as you like to convert them as a batch to the desired document type that you're after. You can even select text recognition settings and you can change the layout settings and the output format such as a Word document or a PowerPoint presentation. The best thing about this feature is that there is no limit to the number of files that you can upload to batch convert and you can even upload folders to convert at the same time. So it makes it very quick and easy and you can convert all of your files within seconds. Surprisingly, the UPDF PDF converter tool also allows you to create PDFs from any file format such as Word, PowerPoint or image. If you have any of these file types that you would like to convert to PDF, please take a look at the upcoming steps so you can learn how to do this using UPDF. To convert a file to a PDF, click File and Create and select the type of file that you would like to convert from. In this case, we're going to convert from a PowerPoint to a PDF. You can also use this tool to convert other file types such as a Word document. Users can also get the chance to combine multiple different file format types and merge them into one single PDF document. If you would like to learn how to do this, please follow the steps now. To combine multiple files into one PDF, go to the top and select File and then Create PDF from File and then select your images or documents that you would like combined together into one PDF. 
Press yes and then you will be able to view your new PDF which will feature the images and documents that you selected. By combining different file types into one single document, this will prevent any accessibility issues. You will not need to open different file types in order to find the information that you need as you've combined them all into one PDF document. Furthermore, this feature could also help you to store and share documents without creating a complete mess. If you have a scanned PDF file or even a scanned image, the UPDF OCR recognition feature can help you to extract data from these documents. Using this tool, you can convert your files using three different layout options. Users who want to extract information without format retention can go for the text and images only option. Those who want to retain the original layout of the file can select the text over page image layout option. However, if someone wants the output file to look the same as the original one, we encourage you to use the text under page image function. UPDF supports over 38 languages, making this tool super effective and useful for people all over the world. All you need to do is follow these steps to learn how to do it. Open your file on UPDF and select the recognize text using OCR feature. From here, select searchable PDF and you can also change other properties such as the layout, the document language and the page range that you want to convert. Once the OCR is complete, you can now edit the document by selecting Edit PDF on the left hand side and editing the text as you wish. The output document obtained via this conversion tool is of high quality and without any formatting errors. The multi language support tool also makes UPDF effective for people worldwide. All of these text recognition features makes UPDF stand out from other converters available on the market. So we hope that you have understood all of the conversion tools that we have spoken about so far for your MacBook. However, you can also use this tool on your iOS devices, such as your iPhone or your iPad. The steps to do this are very easy and I'm going to explain it now. Open the UPDF application on your iPad or iPhone, then click the plus button and click on photos to access your photo library. Select the photo that you would like to turn into an image and then press add. Once it is loaded, you press the three dots at the bottom and scroll down to convert to PDF. And this will allow you to import your image as a PDF to the application. After performing this conversion, the PDF creation app will be able to recognize the text in the PDF file, which means that you can then copy any textual information across. Throughout this video, we have learned the different methods to convert your files to and from PDF format to make them accessible across all of your devices. We hope that you as a viewer have found this video useful for effective document management. If you still have any questions related to the PDF conversion feature, please do leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please help us out by subscribing to our channel and liking this video. We will see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.